All right, guys. Uh, today we're gonna be exploring the Witch's Castle in Oregon. There's actually kind of like a cool, like, urban legend behind this place that, like, uh, I don't know. There was like a couple that like died out here, and supposedly they they still haunt the woods. So we're gonna go check it out. So here we go. We're so high up there right now. We're like heading down into a valley. Like I'm not sure where the trail goes yet. I'm actually being led right now by uh, one of my wife's friends and we're gonna head down to the bottom here. And here we are. And here we are. Here's the witch's castle. It's not very big or nothing, but... I throw you over the edge. <gasps> Alrighty guys, uh, thanks for watching another video. It's gonna be a really short one. This was a really cool hike, so if you ever come out to Portland, I would definitely uh, come here, check it out, especially if you're into hiking. It's not too long of a walk, but I'm gonna see if I can add some of the history about like the urban legend about why they call it the witch's castle. See if I can even find a, a different video about it as well. But like I said, thanks for watching another one and peace out. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I haven't really done like a video like this in a little while, but I just wanted to kind of share some more about the urban legend of the witch's cast or the witch's castle. So let's get right into it. And I'm just gonna kind of read off my laptop and go a little fast. So uh, in the mid 1800s, well before the structure was built, a man named Danford Bulge bought a large portion of land around the area while Portland was still in the process of being developed. It was a big enough area that he had to hire help to clear the area, so he hired a nam named Mortimer Stump, who lived in the cabin on the property with the Bulge family of 10. Over time, Stump and Bulge's daughter, Anna, fell in love, and eventually Stump asked Bulge for his Anna's hand in marriage. Bulge refused, resulting in Stump and Anna threatening to marry him. Bulge became <clears throat> infuriated and told Stump that he would murder him if they did and the young couple didn't heed the warning and decided to get married anyway in November of 1858. Well, when Balch learned of the marriage, he became deeply depressed, was led to days of drinking, all sorts of just bad behavior, and when the young couple returned to Portland, Balch quickly uh, took care of the situation as he saw fit and he actually shot the guy in the face with a double barrel shotgun and <clears throat> he was actually on a ferry when he was arrested by the police and it actually became the first legal execution in Oregon history and after Balch's death the property was passed around through different hands down through the next century eventually uh, landing in the hands of the city of Portland and in the 1930s the stone structure that is seen today in the video was actually built near the site of Balch's homestead it was maintained by 
um, Portland Parks and Recreation and was used as like a ranger station, restrooms for hikers, and in 1962 the structure was uh, heavily damaged in a storm and it was actually abandoned and moss soon covered the stone walls, the roof became caved in, some people started tagging it with graffiti as it's like seen. Um, it, and it was mostly kind of forgotten about until like the 1980s but then uh, I guess uh, local high school students had found it and started to kind of like parties down there, just gatherings, and then it kind of got its name, the Witch's Castle, despite it having no connection to witches at all, and then, I don't know, it's just kind of been a park ever since, and that's really kind of the whole, like, backstory to it and why it's called the Witch's Castle, so it technically doesn't necessarily have anything to do with witches, but still pretty cool and still wanted to kind of share that with you guys, so, uh, like I said, thanks for uh, watching another video, and uh, we'll definitely see you in the next one. Have a good one. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step. At a time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control, and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some confidence.